again and welcome to the TF3DT channel and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model or how to edit objects and we're also gonna use a few modifiers like a table smooth modifier and band modifier so let's get started this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model a simple coffee mug so go to command panel and create a cylinder just like this and I'll right click on anywhere and go to modify tab and make the radius about 15 and the high about 25 and for the high segments don't touch them and for the cap segment make them 2 and the sides make them 15 now to start modeling or start editing this object you have to convert it to editable file so right click on the selected object and then go to convert to and convert to and choose the convert to editable file now we can start editing now the most important part in this tutorial is the ribbon and how to use it. Over here we got the ribbon but it is minimized in the panel title and all we have to do is just click on the small button so it can show us the full ribbon. It will take a second until it will be on. And here we got the ribbon and it should look exactly like this. So let's start editing or so let's start modeling. Now just minimize this viewport and the selection select polygon and what it does it allows you to select faces like this as you see we are selecting the faces and you can move them like this using your move tool or rotate them or scale them anything you want and this is the edge and you can do the, the same thing scaling moving rotating and here we got the vertex So from the selection, select polygon. Now hold Ctrl and then select those while while you are holding the Ctrl select those polygons. And using your scale tool from over here, make them bigger like this. Click on the polygon click on OK a little bit like this and once more use your XT tool or now you can use the inset and click on OK and drag down a little bit and select the middle vertex which is over here and while you're using your move tool drag it down like this now once more select the polygon and go to bottom and select those polygons scale them well, first go click on draw from your selection. Click on draw after you selected those polygons, and now use your scale tool or just click on draw once more. Now, this is a mess. I didn't deselect those, so I'm just going to select them again click on go again 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 and over here now scale them down 
it's like this. So I'm going to the front view and scale it a little bit. And now it's keep on shrink and scale it once more. Shrink, scale it down once more and shrink. Now click on edges and select any of those edges like this one and click on loop and once more make it smaller like this and you can make the same thing by clicking on the same edge twice so I'm just going to make it look nice a little bit object I'm just going to undo right with all of this stuff yeah over here cancel with those now it looks fine Now once more select the polygons from bottom and scale it up, drag it inside or wait a second, execute it. You can execute by clicking right clicking on your mouse, right click on your selected object and you'll see over here the execute and you got the bevel and you got the input. So select the execute. Or you can just go to polygons and select it. And once more, there we go, that's enough. 